10 bad habits that guarantee you will struggle in retirement. Check this out. Giant sequoias. Doesn't get any better than that, man. Giant sequoias along with mosquitoes. Yeah, it gets better than that. Anyway, here are 10 bad habits <clears throat> that will guarantee you struggle in retirement. Number one, checking your retirement funds every single week. I was doing that for a while when I first retired and after things started going bad, the market, I was checking it every single week, sometimes twice a week, sometimes in the very beginning every day. Yeah, I know it's crazy, right? Don't do that, that's a bad habit. That'll guarantee you just have anxiety in retirement. It's the last thing you need, right? Number two, I've said this in other videos, comparing yourself to others. Don't do that, man. When you're in retirement, hey, I'm, 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 I'm fading away. When you're in retirement, you've already won the race. Don't compare yourself to others, guys. You've won the race. What's there to prove? Nothing. And if any of you are watching me for the first time, my name is Dwayne. I retired back in August of 2021 with a little over $500,000. And this is a retirement channel about retiring at moderate income. If you feel you're interested in that, check it out. It might be fun. And uh, help me get away from these mosquitoes too. Got to do something about that. Um, number three, isolating yourself from the world. That can be an issue, especially for those who retire alone, without family, right? That can be a big issue. Isolating yourself from the world. Don't do that. That's the worst thing to do. You need friends. You need family. You need people to run ideas past. You need people to talk to when you're not doing well. Do not isolate yourself. One of the very worst things you could do. Number four, obsessive online shopping because you're bored. Yeah, man, retirement, you got a lot of time on your hands, right? Woo, there we go up the elevator again. See if I can go to the top this time. Yeah, baby, there we go. Obsessive online shopping. It's easy to do, right? You're bored, you're sitting around. But guess what? That five bucks here and 10 bucks there, it adds up pretty quick right? Bad, bad habit. Bad, bad, bad habit. Don't do it, guys. Hey, but if you are doing it, send me some bug spray, all right? For next time I come up here or any other time in the woods. This is getting ridiculous. I thought it'd be mosquitoes. It's not. It's flies. Biting flies. One just bit me in the booty. It hurts. Number five, watching TV all day long. Another easy habit to get drag, drug into. Drug, drag, whatever. Don't do it, guys. Worst thing to do. Your brain will just go to mush. It'll go to mush. Do stuff. Read. Get outside. Crossword puzzles. Learn a new language. Don't sit around all day watching TV. The worst thing to do in the world. Number six. Pulling money out of the stock market, stock market in bad times. Another easy habit to get into. It's like, you know, oh, hey, we've been down for two straight weeks. My money's coming out. Now, if you want to take a little bit out, you know, in bad times, put it to cash, put it to some other conservative investment, put it to a money market, put it to bonds, six-month bonds, which I'm in, put it into I-bonds. But don't get into the habit of just taking money out of the stock market when things are not going good. Number one, you might time it everything right, but you might miss the whole upside, right? You went down, you might miss the up back to help yourself get back to where you were. Be careful of that. Just take a deep breath. If you're confident in your plan, you'll be able to ride it out. Number seven, gambling. Another easy thing to get sucked into when you got a lot of time in your hands, right? I was taking care of my mom up in Reno before she passed away. <clears throat> and I would go to occasionally to casinos. You know the number one age group that I saw, at least in Reno, Nevada? Probably over 65. Sitting there with their big cups next to whew, pulling that slot machine, pulling it down. 
I don't know how much it was, you know, nickel here, quarter there, dollar, five bucks, whatever. It adds up. And there were times where I went back, you know, back a week later, I'd see the same people there. Be very careful. A lot of time in your hands in retirement. Gambling. Sure, do a little, but be careful. Number eight, not exercising. Easy, right? Easy one to get drug into, especially if you may be depressed in retirement, if you're isolating, if you're keeping away from people because you're depressed, that's a natural reaction. Yeah, you know, I've gone through periods of depression before. You pull away. Your number one tendency is to pull away from people. So be careful with that, guys. I mean, you got to exercise. Exercising helps those endorphins burst out of you, make you feel a lot better, right? You got to exercise. Bad habit to get into, sitting around doing nothing and not exercising. Number six, obsessive eating because you're bored. It's another bad habit, terrible habit to get into, along with excessive, you know, online spending. Excessive eating because you're bored. Now, this can happen not, not when you're even retired, but just general. With people in general, woo, let's go up that ladder again. Hey, what's at the top? I don't know. Is it an eagle? Hey, you never know. Excessive eating. Control yourself, guys. If you're bored, get a hobby. Do something. Sit around. Maintain your exercise. Maintain your eating habits. Be careful with that. Don't sit around with like a, a gallon of Ben and Jerry's in the in the refrigerator in the freezer that's tempting you, calling your name when you're sitting down and doing nothing. Eat me, eat me. You got to be careful of that. Number ten, and this I would say is the very most important bad habit not to get into. The bad habit is watching other retirement channels besides mine. Yeah, okay, that's a joke. Or is it? Hey, anyway, to my regular subscribers, guys, keep that uh, information, those comments coming. Getting a lot of comments as usual. And you know what? Hey, things might not be doing too good right now in the market. Uh, I'm recording this first week of October. You know, they'll get better. Just stick to your guns. If you are confident in your investing strategy, there's no reason to panic. No reason to panic at all. Take a deep breath. Avoid these bad habits that I've just mentioned to you. And there I go with spitting in my video again. There it goes again. I'm telling you, next video, mouth guard, mouth guard time. Mouth guard. So yeah, guys, just calm down. And just remember, you know, take in all the good information. Spit out all the bad. Hopefully not like spitting like I have been. And we will always get this. Woo, going up, 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 up.